Apostle Heber J. Grant hoped that he might enjoy a portion of the same spirit which had prompted the utterances of all the speakers of the conference. He could well understand that to live our religion requires a constant exertion on our part. In brief, the whole of this religion is to live lives of righteousness. Many believed that if they are barely able to hold a standing in the church, they are still living their religion. The fallacy of such an idea, that simple faith or belief without works was sufficient, was briefly touched upon, and the speaker declared it his belief that no person who does nothing towards building the houses of God had a right to enter those houses, and take part in the blessings and privileges therein conferred. Referring to our position in the world, he said, Honest, upright men, not of us, recognize the merits of the saints and their honesty of dealing, while it is only by those who are not themselves above reproach that the calumnies against us are set in circulation. He regretted the growing tendency among the saints to run into debt and urge farmers in the purchase of machinery to use more wisdom and the people generally to adopt a more healthy method of financiering. Sufficient instruction had been given at the conference to enable the saints, if they would observe it, to make a great improvement on their past record, and he prayed that they might be enabled to do so.